speaking about combos, how do you feel about the combo system in Naruto Storm Connections, opposed to you know comparing it to past Storm games? In previous games, I mean, a lot of the wiggle room that we were talking about with uh, in regards to, like, jails or even the negative space when jutsus are flying, there's, you know, they, they got rid of a lot of the wiggle room during combos in favor of, like, longer stun times so that combos are easier. Like adding crumples and, and tumbles yeah, crumples, and all that kind of stuff. tumbles, just a lot of the stuns on most hits are longer than they would be in previous games there's less ways to wiggle out of combos once someone started essentially less ways to drop a combo and this makes the game more offensive it does make the game more offensive and it lends itself more options when you're in a combo as well just like more creative options um i think in this game more than previous games because of the introduction of like uh combos after grabs you know now you have a very easy option to um counterplay against the uh neji support that might interrupt your combo or shinra tensei where now i'm like I, okay i i got you in that particular hit that stunned i'm gonna go for a grab and cancel out your shusui or cancel out your uh hinata and then go back into the combo essentially essentially allowing combo time to even somewhat be you know more neutral than it's ever been you make such a good point there. I noticed that when we both play the game, we both take that opportunity as much as possible. I've been doing that for the longest time. Like this game has been out seven months now. It came out on November seventeenth, twenty twenty three, and it's more than half a year. You know, it's going to be a year in a few months, and I really like that about that. And you make such a great point. I like that you can actually do a lot more creative and interesting combos. And I like, you know, Hidan, Itachi, PTS Neji, there's a, a, a Shippuden Neji. There's a lot of characters where you can continue Minato, right? Alive Minato, even Edo Minato. You can continue after their grabs and do something about it. And canceling, I purposely cancel and grab at a time where they're using a support so I can cleanse that support. I mm. love cleansing supports. I love cleansing certain jitsus there with like an Amaterasu jitsu if i have one just to get it off the field because so many people are just used to spamming jitsu like in storm 4 right mm -hmm. and uh yes they call it tech and it is tech now but it is also based off the chakra recovery glitch and they actually fixed it in this game which i was you know basically screaming into a void and no one was listening to me and everyone was telling me that that is not a glitch, it's an intended mechanic, and the developers want it in the game, but then when Connections came, they saw that, wait, they actually fixed that glitch, which, you know, it doesn't 100% prove it, but it basically shows that they didn't really either want it in the game, they didn't intend it, or they didn't like how players were using it, and they felt it needed to be balanced, right? One of those options. And that's what we were left with. Very interesting stuff. What do you think about that? For me, it's one of two things. Either they realized that it was in the game, and they don't want it in the game, or they just weren't aware of it, and it's still in the game. Um, I, I think sometimes, you know, like, as a, as, as, a, as a player, as opposed to a developer, I think most fighting game players do tend to break the game as much as possible, because, the, you know, that's where a lot of the, that's where a lot of the, the fun can come from is like manipulating a thing in a, in a way that can give you advantage um, that wasn't intended. You know, like, like I, I, you know, canceling tilts was probably not an intended mechanic, you know, and then eventually they, they saw that and they're like, you know, okay, well, when we make tilts jutsus, how about most of them are cancelable? Like, okay, now that people are, you know, finding creative ways to, to, to cancel things, what if we just give them a chakra cost to cancel a you know, this action or whatever, um, and allow for more of that, like, creative uh, combos or creative strings, you know, or actions or whatever. And uh, I think sometimes the community breaks a game and then the developers see, like, oh, we could do something with that. And sometimes it's a, a benefit, sometimes it's, it's not. And it's, I think you have to look at every example independently to really come to any kind of conclusion but i think you can overall see where the developers are going with changes and gleam like okay clearly they want it to be way more offensive 
than defensive with a lot of the changes. Oh, 100%. This game is a lot more offensive than defensive. They limited our defensive options. And I agree with you. Players, it's almost our duty to break the game, to push the Mm -hmm. game to its absolute limit, and to see, you know, where are the boundaries in this game. And, of course, we're looking to have as much fun as possible, right? Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of times, though, that fun comes at the at the cost of the other player that we're fighting not having fun, which is, I think, a core issue in Naruto Storm games in general, right? Especially in connections. A lot of times, it just doesn't feel good when you're using super strong, super meta teams because they're very punish-heavy. And when you get punished by one of those teams, it doesn't feel that great, and it feels like an uphill battle, right? And it feels like... If you don't have a team at that level of that strength, right, Mm -hmm. it feels like, well, it's really tough for me to even contend with this person. We're at different sort of levels of power and class, right? So say you finally do get an advantage. I mean, Mm -hmm. it feels more like, oh, I avoided punishment than, oh, wow, I did a good thing, right? Because it doesn't seem like equal opportunity or like, you know, that there's sort of like a fit there's not a lot of 50 50s right it's like the it's skewed in the strong or meta players favor if that makes sense right yeah i think the way i would look at it would be what is the reward for an attack landing and then what is the reward for dodging that same attack and if there's if there's not a balance there then it will lean one and it will lean in the favor of one of those sides a good example for this is people's dislike of of counterattacks. I think a lot of a lot of people's issue with it is that they feel that the reward of free combo time, you know, they they don't feel like that's a, a justifiable reward for landing a counterattack. I think there can be a discussion there where like maybe we can come to some other conclusion, like, you know, maybe it's a a push away that immediately refills some of your chakra. Maybe it's just. Um, you know, the knock away like it was. Maybe it's the big guard break, you know, that reduces. So maybe maybe if you had the same effect, but it's a guard break, at least the starting couple attacks and the counterattack will do less damage, you know, which maybe a counterattack won't feel as bad um, as opposed to where it's at now, where that first hit after a counterattack is full damage. So maybe there's you know, a more nuanced way to to make it not feel as strong as where it's at. And then on the other side would be like maybe there's some jutsus that because they're so powerful in the in the neutral, the reward for hitting it is like, you know, maybe it's 20% of your health gone. Or maybe that just needs to be tuned back. Maybe it's too strong of a reward because the reward for dodging that attack is not just not taking damage. And I'm presented where, okay, he switched. Now I, I am no longer, I don't have the ability to deal 20% damage as a response. So you're saying that if people, if I counter you in a fight, now Mm -hmm. the damage for a certain amount of time will be reduced by, say, 20%. Yeah, so if it had, like, the the guard break state, where if you guard break someone, your damage is reduced. I don't know by how much. Yeah. When those those stars are there, it initially, it, it, it cuts off the... Like impact of damage, it reduces it with some. Yeah, which I thought was a great thing in Storm Four, right? Where, okay, you can guard, you can guard break Revolution ultimate now. them, but you can only do that twice, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then after that, you so, got to earn that jail and guard break, right? Ex- exactly, exactly. Just making it more in line with the the reward versus the reward on the like both sides need to have an equal reward when engaging with an attack, right? That's that's really it. So, so you're basically saying you're in favor of trying to have as many 50-50 mix-ups, right? Or, or, or opportunities, right? Where when we engage, there's a 50% chance that you could win and there's about a 50% chance I could win. Which brings me back to my other point where when you have that stronger teams, it, it almost feels like it's always like a 70-30 or 80-20, right? Mm-hmm. Where, okay, I'm engaging with you, but I'm, I'm feeling like I'm going to lose this engagement almost every time. I think what I'm more thinking of is... If you just looked at the map, where it's like, okay, if I can hit Ishiki's fireball against your character, all I got to do is hit it five or six times, right? 
But now if you're using this character's jutsu, you would have to hit me, you know, 8 to 13 times <laughs> or something like that to have the same effect. Where So like so, now so you're talking about power scaling here. I'm talking about in the situation where if, if so my reward for dodging Ishiki's fireball yeah. is not equivalent to the reward of landing Ishiki's fireball. Um, because there's just so many differences, and I feel like the problem jutsus that I've run across are the ones where they eat up the neutral, they have uh, too large of a damage reward, um, and then the reward for dodging it, the reward for avoiding that damage, somehow finding a narrow escape in the neutral, the reward is not equal. I am not presented with a opportunity to to do the same to them you know so the character you're fighting is too strong the threat level is too high in comparison to yours and it doesn't seem balanced like there isn't a balanced way to interact with that stronger character or jitsu that's what you're saying i'm saying the effort is not worth it there's no payoff for dodging a momoshiki jitsu like there is for dodging um like Takasasuke's Amaterasu, you know, which you can just very easily dodge by just walking yeah. towards him. And that's interesting because those are two different extremes because the uh, Takasasuke's mm-hmm. Amaterasu is basically one of the most useless jutsus in the game. It's it's very situational, right? You can use it and it's useful, but it's situational, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, the startup of it is very – and the startup really. of it is very slow too, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's kind of like – you, he does it, you see it, and you can just walk out of there. Like, you got a lot of time to react to it. Um, so, but this comes down to, once again, is it an, you know, certain characters being overtuned? Like, what's your remedy for this? Like, what... Okay, you've made this statement, but then, mm-hmm. like I said, yeah, so, what... So, for me, it's... it's, it's okay, wait, wait. The... So, wait one second. So, Ish- Ish- Ishiki's fireball on the neutral. Fair mm-hmm. enough. That was your example. But how about when you fight Itachi's fireball? Is it the same thing, or do you feel like that's more fair for you? So, like, Itachi feels more fair in uh, the neutral than... Why? Than Ishiki's. I think just it just simply does less damage. Like, it's, it's, it's smaller... It does less damage. The fact that a bigger one does more, like I understand from an anime level that yeah, bigger fire equals bigger damage. But it's if it's if something is easier to hit, I think it should reduce the damage. A good example of this is, you know, the, the Shikamaru bags or a Hanada air or the last right? Sasuke, right? His <clears throat> Inferno Fireball does little damage, if I recall. Yeah, Inferno Fire stuff. Yeah, basically anything that is easier to hit should do less damage. Especially if it has priority. It's hit. Yeah, yeah, it's going to hit more often. You're more likely to hit it. Um, and you're less likely to dodge it. So any, any of those situations should lead to less of a reward because there's less counterplay on your opponent's side. And anything that's hard to hit, like uh, like Takasasuke's Amaterasu, you should be rewarded for landing that because it is such a hard jutsu to land. So that you is... should be doing... Yeah, the Momoshiki or the Ishiki fireball damage, not the way it is now. That is you know? such a good point. I think that is phenomenal. That's a great point. Yeah, no, I think that the you know the pheasant hunt damage, maybe even a little bit more damage, or at least that much damage. That Amaterasu of Takasasuke should be doing that. It should be reversed for sure. I think one of the best ways to balance Momoshiki's pheasant hunt or Metsu is is definitely damage reduction. I'm talking about it needs to be one-third the damage that it is right now, right? Um, Mm -hmm. Not even half. Not even two-thirds. It's got to be one-third. And I would be okay with it. I think it's interesting. I think that if you nerf it too much, it could get, you know, a a Shinra Tensei pain and Nagato Nagato situation where his Shinra Tensei is basically just completely neutered. It's just mm-hmm. completely useless. Like, you only use the gun now, right? Um, that, yeah. The gun is your only reliable, viable option. <laughs> you were just trying to style? And then, <laughs> what the hell? Did you see your body? Did you see your body? Just there? Or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the game's broken. Confirmed. 